Hello and welcome back to Gapey's Greenhouse. It's the end of the month and I almost forgot to post an update for you guys with all the peppers. And it looks a little bit different in here than it did last month. A lot of the beans, at least the ones on the right side, have started dying back and I've harvested almost all of those. The ones on the left side are a different variety and they seem to be taking a little bit longer to dry out, but we're getting there. So let's start by looking at the two Bacatum varieties that I grew this year. I love Bacatums because they're always really productive for me and these ones are no different. Both have been putting out tons and tons of peppers. This first one is called Apple Crisp and it gets these pretty good sized red peppers. So this is the first one that I've had turn red. There's a lot of orange and dark orange peppers and ones that are still working on ripening. So this will be the first pepper that I harvest and I'll give that one a try. It's supposed to be pretty sweet. They're very thick walled so that's why they're taking a little longer to ripen. But we've got this plant is just totally loaded with peppers. So I should get a pretty good harvest from that. And then the one in front of it is called Peppa Peach. And this one has tons of pods as well. I have harvested a few of these and all the ones I've harvested so far have been sweet and not had any heat. And they are supposed to be have a little bit of heat, but I'm not getting any from them. Um, but the, the pods have been coming out pretty small. I think they're supposed to get a lot bigger than that. So I'm not sure what's going on there, but I did harvest some that were bigger. Here's one that's got a little bit bigger, but we've got tons of pods. So I, I really enjoy this one just in a salad or just eating fresh. Very tasty. And this pepper here in the corner is the Aleppo pepper, and it is full of ripe pods that I need to harvest. So I was debating whether to make a sauce or a powder out of these. They're supposed to make pretty good powder, but I really want to make a sauce. The only sauce I've made so far is a green sauce, so I think these would go pretty well in a sauce. They're, they're a nice sweet pepper as well. And I've got a tomato volunteer here in the corner, and it looks like it's a aroma type which is good because I need some more sauce tomatoes to make some tomato sauce. Another really productive pepper in the greenhouse this year is the shishito. And this is one of the few peppers that I've grown before. And we've got tons and tons of pods. I've already harvested probably 30 peppers off of this little plant and it's just keeps producing. So that's one of my favorites this year for, I usually use it in grilling. I like to grill them green. Um, I did let a few turn red uh, to save seeds from, but I do prefer them green. They're a little more tender than the red ones. Here we have the sweet banana pepper, and this is the first time I've I've grown this pepper, and it looks like we're getting some some bug damage on on this pepper. I'm not sure what those orange bugs are. I don't think I've seen those before, um, but this one only has two peppers left on it, so I'm going to be once I harvest those two peppers, I'm gonna pull this plant out because I don't, there's not any other peppers on there and there's not enough time left of the season for it to produce more peppers. So this one is pretty much done after I harvest these two pods. Um, but I, I really like these once they turn red, but I've harvested some yellow as well. I kind of wish I had more because I would have liked to pickle some, but I've just been eating them fresh in salads and um, stuff like that. Violet Sparkle is another sweet pepper that I'm growing for the first time this year. And this one gets some really big purple, yellow colored peppers. And they do eventually turn red. I don't have any red ones on here right now, but I did harvest a few of those earlier this year. But it's pretty much loaded with pods. It had two pods really early on. And once I harvested those two pods, just a ton more have started coming out. So I'm looking forward to getting some more of those guys. Here we have the Black Orchid Cafe Thai Pepper. And this is a really neat pepper. It's got purple um, pods and they eventually will turn red and some of the purple remains even after it turns ripe. Um, but the only thing with this one is it doesn't seem to be as productive as the Thai peppers that I've grown in the past. Um, but it's still really good. Not too spicy but it does have a nice nice heat so I do like using that in cooking. I'm gonna try a different Thai variety next year though. 
This here is the orange ripple. It's a pretty good sized plant and it's starting to put out some pretty scary looking pods. We've got a nice tail here. The first pods weren't looking quite like that. Um, it's very bumpy. It's a cross of three different peppers. I'll have to post what the crosses are, but one of them is a reaper. So I think this is going to be a really hot pepper. And we've got one more pod set back here. This tail isn't quite as long as the other one, um, but this plant seems to be just getting started. It's got loads of flowers, but unfortunately our season is almost over, so I don't think we're gonna get too many ripe pods. Here's another, another one there. And this little guy back here is the bulldog paprika. And we've got some that are finally starting to turn ripe. I haven't harvested any of these yet, but it seems to be ripening to a pretty deep dark red. This one back here looks like it's like it's ripe, but I wanted to use these for a pepper powder. So as soon as I get some more ripe ones, I'm going to start harvesting those and drying them and turning them into powder. They seem to be really um really thick walled from what I can tell. So they're taking a while to ripen, but they should make a really nice powder. And this here is the monkey face red. And we've got one finally starting to ripen here. You can see there's a little bit of, of dark red coming in there. I haven't harvested any of these. There's another one back there that has a little bit of red on it. But I'm looking forward to trying this one. Charles P recommends this one, says it's really good. So I'm looking forward to try it. There's lots of pods on there. Um, some of them are still pretty small, but we have a few big ones in there that should ripen up here pretty soon. And then here we have what it was supposed to be the Mira Polish White, but these pods never turned white. So they're like a really huge, kind of a long bell type pepper. And I've only harvested, I think one, and it didn't get quite that big, but it eventually it just turned from green to red. And I've got another, another one hanging back here. But these peppers are huge, so it must have crossed with something. I can't remember. I'll have to look and see who I got the seeds from. But these are definitely not Mira Polish white peppers. And then I grew two different varieties of Korean gochu this year. This one here is the Cheongyang, which is supposed to be the hottest of all the Korean gochus. And it's a thinner walled pepper than the other gochus that I've had. And they're pretty long and thin, but this is a a ripe one here, but I'm waiting for this other one to ripen here. This is the Lady Choi Gochu, and this one has much thicker walls, and the peppers are much larger. So this one is also more sweet. There's almost no heat to this one. So I'm gonna, was planning on making a powder and blending the two together, but this one here has been really unproductive. I've only harvested, I think, three, two or three peppers off of this plant, and this Looks like it's going to be the the last pod that I'll harvest because I'm not seeing any more that are even close to being ready. I'm not sure if I showed this pepper in my previous videos or not. This is one that I got from a, a neighbor. He had an extra start so just gave it to me and I didn't really have room for it. So I just kind of tucked it away back here in the corner of the greenhouse which doesn't get as much light. There's a lot of cucamelons growing back here which is kind of shading out pretty much everything so it's it's grown kind of tall and spindly but it has set quite a few pods on it i haven't seen any ripen yet but we should be getting pretty close they're getting i don't think they get too much bigger than this they are pretty thick walled so they probably take a while to ripen um, but this one's called time bomb and i think people use it for stuffing maybe with cheese and also i think people pickle it so i'm looking forward to giving it a try and seeing how it is the rest of the peppers in the greenhouse are all chinense varieties, and I've not had much success with the chinense varieties this year. This one here is the White Ghost, and it hasn't even set a pod yet, so I'm not sure. I don't think there's any pods on here, and I don't really see any flowers either, so I don't think I'll be getting anything off of that this year, unfortunately. And this one here is the datil pepper. I have harvested a few off of it, but they've been really teeny tiny pods. Um, this one is actually a lot, this one's a lot larger than the ones that I've harvested so far, so maybe it'll get a little bit bigger, um, but I'm not seeing, it's not been very productive. So I don't, 
think I'm gonna get too much off of that one. Um, the teal is supposed to be a popular productive variety and it just, I don't know if it's the seed or what, but it just has not been doing very well for me. And here we have a pink tiger peach boot cross. And this one, I've only seen this one pod on it so far and it's super tiny. I think they're supposed to get a lot bigger than that, but this is, looks like it's almost ripe and that's the only pod I think I'm going to get off of this pepper. The other purple leafed variety that I'm growing this year is called Tennessee Blackout. And I'm not sure what the cross is, but it's supposed to be kind of a sweet pepper. And I've been having rabbits getting into the greenhouse and it seems to really like this particular pepper. You can see there's some some missing branches here. So it might have been a little bit more productive had the bunny not eaten it. Um, but we've got one pepper here and we've got another one here. So I think those are the only two pods that we have. I'm not sure if it's going to ripen to red or what. Um, but right now they're just um, black. So I'm going to leave them on there and, and see how it does. You may have noticed at the beginning of the video that I've got this chicken wire set up here. And this is how I'm keeping the bunny rabbits from getting into the greenhouse and eating the peppers. And here we have the giant habanero. This is the red version. And this one has not been doing very well either. I think there's only this one pod that's set on it. And I'm not sure how much bigger it's going to get. Um, but that's all I think we have that's growing. So that's probably the only pepper that I'm going to get off of that plant. Now this one is called Peach Star Kissed. And it's a cousin of the Lemon Starburst. It's the same cross, just a different color. And I did harvest a few off of this one, and I'm not seeing any more pods set. The ones that I've harvested were really tiny pods though, so I'm not sure what's going on with that. There's a few flowers in there, but I don't think we're gonna get any more pods off of that guy. And the other Kang Star Cross that I grew this year is the Scarlet Rose. And this is also a cousin of the Lemon Starburst, being the same cross, but this one is red and not a single pod that I've seen set on this plant. So I don't think I'm going to get any pods off of that plant this year. Now the most productive Chinense variety I have is this bubble gum crossed with Tabasco. I can't remember. I'm not sure if a Tabasco is a Chinense variety or not, but it seems to have the characteristics of Chinense varieties. It looks a lot more like a bubble gum than it does a Tabasco, but it seems productive, which it probably gets from the Tabasco side of the family. But we're seeing some really nice wrinkly pods forming here. Tons and tons of pods all over the plant. The first set of pods that it was forming were really round and small. You could see I think there's one that's right back here. So here's one of the, the pods. This is what it was setting at the beginning and now we're seeing a lot more um, scary looking pods and this variety is very very hot so i'm definitely going to be using this for sauces once i get some more pods ripening up so those are all the peppers that are in the greenhouse this year hopefully i'll have at least one more update for you to show you the end of the season and i will talk to you guys again soon thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.